are going to create a web folder inside our own computer system. Start here, create a web so folder. We are going to create these four files here. But first, we're going to create, I guess, a website folder because we're going to have like website one, website two, website three, website four. That way you can know the difference. Uh, that way you can have different website within and a lot of people use them as templates so if you have the first one and you want it to look different but you want to keep the first one just to go back to and look at you know use as reference you have that in like website one and website two may be a little different or maybe you're you're in project but if you want to rearrange that and change that around then you also have a website three and if we start another website, it would be website four. But you also can um, give them names like um, a website portfolio, then website one, website two, as you go on, then delete the ones you don't want. Right now we're going to create a website. And we are going to create it in one minute, please. In order to create this new website, we're going to go down to the Windows key or the flag or whatever you would like to call it. It's the Windows key. We um, click on that. This pops up here. You type in D O. Finish spelling it out. You have the documents here. Click on the documents. You see, I already created a website, but you would um, new folder, then rename it to websites. Another way to get here, let me close this out. Another way to get here, if you hit the Windows key and E at the same time, it'll pop up. You can go to Documents here, or you can go to Documents here. That would be the Windows key and E at the same time that opens up your Explorer. Same thing, then we'll go to Websites and we shall begin. So we're here at Documents, Websites, Website 1 that we've created. And inside here we're going to create three documents in one folder that folder is going to be for images so let's start with the folder so we click right click you come to the context menu or you go to home and click new folder either way we get there we're going to name it img or you can just name it the whole name images uh, we should just stick with image okay now we have that created so the next one we're going to right click on our mouse we're going to right click go to the context menu this is called the context menu go down to the bottom where it says new go all the way to text document I'm going to hold it here so everybody get where I'm at okay click text document left click in the empty space document double click or single click okay then we're going to go to file save as we're going to name our first file index uh, when the website is searching it searches for your opening file which is normally called index it's going to be dot html we're going to save it So now you see where we have the index folder over here. So now we're going to go to File, Save As. This is going to be for our Java, our Java scripts. It's going to be app.js, app.js for apps. Save. You also see that pops up over here. 
We have one more. This is going to be for our style sheet. So we're going to file, save as, S-T-Y-L-E dot C-S-S. So we could delete this new ticket. Uh, we could delete this right here. So you should, everybody should have these, these four items in their program. So if we go here and we right click on this, we hit copy, paste. Okay, so now you right click on it, go down to rename. Go, in the, the, go at the end behind the Y, then backspace, change it to 2. Do the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I went too far. Uh, click paste. Go behind the what? Go down to a rename. Go to three. So the reason I did that when you open it up, everybody has the same thing. Okay, so. For our next lesson,